Hello and welcome to Centurus Power BI Visualizations Intermediate. My name is Patrick Powers, trainer, data architect, and developer here at Centurus. This module is on data groups and bins. In this video, we will see how to put data into custom groups as well as create histograms from bin data. Source data is usually grouped per technical rules, not business rules. Groups allow us to combine data logically for the end user. For example, users may have states grouped into regions or territories that align with the sales team rather than technical groupings. Let's create that exact scenario. Here I've got a blank report page, and under fields, I'm gonna right click state, create new group, and here we see a list of our ungrouped values. We're gonna go through and we're gonna select different states and put them into groups. We'll start by clicking on Arizona and control clicking California, Oregon, Utah, and Washington. Click the group button and we'll name it West. Be careful not to hit OK as that would close this dialog box. Next, click on Florida, control click Georgia, Missouri, Kentucky, Mississippi, North Carolina, and South Carolina, and Virginia. Group, and label that South. For our next group, we'll pick Minnesota, Montana, Texas, and Wyoming. We'll group that and call it Central. Next, take Massachusetts, Ohio, New York, group those into East. For all of our remaining values, we're gonna put them into an other bucket. So we'll click this box that says include other group. Click OK. We see our state group over here under fields and we're gonna right click and rename and we'll rename that US Sales Territories. In the visualization pane, we'll add a matrix and we'll resize it to fit our canvas. Take the new US Sales Territories, put it into the rows and the first thing we're gonna do is filter out that other. In the filters pane, click the down arrow on US Sales Territories change it to advanced filtering and we're going to say does not contain other click apply filter and now we just see our central east south and west from dim order date order date date hierarchy take year and place it to the columns from fact internet sales add both sales amount and profit to the values in order to expand out our groups, we'll also add state from dim customer to the rows. Now we can right click any of our territories and do expand all. Here we see our group and the items underneath each group. Bins are to measures what groups are to dimensional data. Bins allow us to create buckets of data. Some examples of bin data might include household income, days late, age, average order amount. Bins can help us uncover trends in data that might not usually be visible. Let's create a report with a bin that shows us our top 10 buckets based on customers. We've got a new page and we're gonna go ahead from Fact Internet Sales, right click Sales Amount, New Group. Notice the difference in the dialog box between this and what we saw for states. Now Power BI has decided on a bin size of $45. It's based that on our min value and our max value. This is a rather odd size. We wanna make this something a little more logical, so we'll go with $100. Click on a clustered column chart to add it to the visualization and resize it to fit the canvas. Add the new sales amount bins to the axis drop zone. From Fact Internet Sales, drag customer key to the values drop zone. We don't want the individual customers, we want a count of each customer. By default, we've got a straight count, but let's make sure we're getting the right customers by clicking that down arrow and changing it to a count distinct. 
Now we've got the distinct customer key for each one. Let's get this to our top 10. In the filters pane, click on sales amount bin, change it to a top end. We'll do 10 and we'll drag our customer key to the buy value. Again, we'll click the down arrow and make sure it's account distinct. Here we see our top bins based on the count. Once I click on apply filter, go to the formatting icon and turn on data labels. We see how many of our customers are in each bin. That concludes this module where we worked with groups and bins. In our next installment, we will see how to conditionally format visualizations. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and check back for the next entry in the series. Thank you for watching.